So what's the one thing you want after spending your time playing with your pets all day and adopt me? Yay, going for a nice cool swim. And then, wow, grabbing a lemonade from your own lemonade vending machine. How cool is this guys? Yeah, so you can get your own lemonade vending machine in your own house. How cool, yeah, and so refreshing too. Anyway guys, thanks to the Ninja Plays for this vending machine idea. And I've just made it a little bit more special. And now it dispenses lemonade. So if you wanna see how to make this lemonade vending machine in Adopt Me, well, let's do this. Okay, to build your own Adopt Me Lemonade vending machine, you're gonna need a few simple parts. Now, we're just gonna go over to the living room and storage, because that's where you'll find your stylish wardrobe. Yay, that's right. So, this little thing uh, is the basis of the uh, design. Now, we just use this for a backing plate, and I'm just gonna put this right up against the wall. And as you can see, I'm just gonna offset it a little bit. But you could put it into any place. Uh, and it does look better against the wall. So we're gonna grab another one on the other side here and we're gonna just turn that one around just on the side and bring that in. So now you're getting a bit of a feel for the actual design. So we're just gonna bring that in just a tad. And uh, yeah, so that looks pretty cool so far. Now the other thing we wanna do is we're gonna need a few more of these wardrobes. So I'm just gonna leave a few of these out and we'll just put them to the side. So we're just gonna fill in the space in a minute. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're just gonna put in another wardrobe at the back here because, uh, well, we wanted to fill in the space a little bit, but uh, we also need to cover up the lemonade stand. Yeah, that's right, guys. You're gonna need a lemonade stand to be able to complete this build. But you could just make a normal vending machine anyway. So you don't necessarily need the lemonade stand. So we're just gonna grab one more of these and put it at the back here like that so that should be pretty flush now we might actually just turn that one right around so you can't actually see anything at the back at all now the other thing we want to do is we want to go one more here and then we're just going to turn that around so we're just going to fill this in a little bit and it's probably just going to go in about halfway so we just again we're just trying to fill in some space here and make it look really neat so that should be it there so that's the uh, basic vending machine design. Now we're gonna need something for the control panel. Now, before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and grab a barrier so we can line things up. So go to party and grab your barrier. And I'm just gonna bring this in uh, around about here. So just a little bit offset. In fact, that's probably about right. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the kitchen and then over to the cooking. And we're gonna grab this uh, microwave. Now the microwave's great because it's got some dials on it, as you can see here, but we want it on its side. And that's where the barrier comes into play. So if we just pop that on the barrier like that, and then we just turn this around, you can see we've got our dial already. But if we put it just there, well, it's actually not gonna be right at all. We need to actually uh, move it out and center it into this platform a bit. Now, the way that I do that is I actually use, uh, instead of using other barriers, I'll just go to the a pizza place, and I like these chopping boards because they're nice and thin, and they'll just sit on the barrier nicely like this. And I'll grab another one because uh, we want it to be a little bit further off. Maybe I'll grab three just to be perfect. But you guys just line it up the way you can. Now I'm just gonna grab this microwave again and see how that just sits in there nicely. Now the other thing is it's actually a bit too far out. So we're just gonna push it in just a little bit like that. And that's about right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag these off for now because I may still need them. All right, now this is actually taking shape quite nicely. Now we want to change this barrier so it's on its angle like this. So it's a horizontal. Now it's a little bit tricky to set up, but that's probably going to be fine to start with. Now you want to go ahead and grab some bottles and the best place to grab those is out of decorations and just a small bottle like this. Now I'm going to color these a lemonade color, which is just this yellow color here. And as you can see, they look pretty lemonadey. So we're just gonna go ahead and just line them up there like that. And uh, just three on each shelf looks pretty cool. Uh, groups of three always look better. Now that's the uh, bottom layer. Let's go ahead and move this platform up a little bit. And then we'll put it in another layer. 
So we'll just come down just a tad and this is where the extra boards come in play because sometimes it doesn't line up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do maybe two boards just here and then bring in some more lemonade. So another three lemonade bottles there and we're just gonna move that one back. Okay, so that's good. All right, so now we can move this platform up just a little bit more and we'll see if that looks about right. Yeah, I think that's gonna be about right. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and move these boards out the way. Okay, so now we can go ahead and place these last bottles on the top here. So we'll just put one on the side there and one back there and one back there. So these two just need to go back a little bit and it's just a little bit of fine detail sometimes guys just persist with it and you'll be fine so we've got one extra bottle here we can just get rid of and we don't need this barrier anymore and we don't need these uh chopping boards either so just get rid of those and we should be fine so that is the lemonade vending machine how cool does that look guys yay and it's pretty tidy around the back as well and like i say doing it up on the side of a wall actually isn't too bad because you don't have to worry about a side panel as well so i think it looks pretty good myself but uh hang on it doesn't work oh yeah that's right so i'm just going to stop editing right now and i'm going to get out my lemonade stand yeah, that's right. So when your friends come over and you're online, well, guess what? Just pop your lemonade stand in your lemonade stand machine, just like that, and we'll just drop it there. And then when they come in and they come to this, they see the E and they can press that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press $2 there because I think that's a fair price for a lemonade. Now, because it's my lemonade stand, it won't actually work. So I'm gonna get uh, Kanga Beast uh, to give me a little bit of a hand. And here he is right now, yay! He's gonna go ahead and buy himself some lemonade. So let's just see if this works. Uh, buy some lemonade, uh, yeah, what do you reckon? Uh, did you get some? Yes! Oh, how cool is that? So everybody can get uh, lemonade and next time they're at your pool party. How cool is that, guys? Anyway, guys, so this has been a Let's Do This Gaming with the Adopt Me Lemonade vending machine. How cool, guys? Go and build your lemonade machine today. And don't forget, when you leave the server, you'll need to put the lemonade stand back in when you've got visitors coming over. So leave a comment down below if you like this lemonade vending machine idea. I think it's a great idea and don't forget to go and subscribe to Ninja Plays because he gave me the inspiration for this build. Anyway guys, until next time, it's bye for now.